this. So now I'm going to play the big tune, of course, that uh, Bugle would, would be, would be uh, used for. Uh, this is, of course, TAPS. And the, one of the other reasons I'm here is that next year, exactly 12 months from now, TAPS will be uh, commemorating its 150th anniversary. TAPS was born along the James River, just south of Richmond, uh, in the summer of 1862. It turned out that uh, General Daniel Butterfield, who was a Union commander, did not like the regulation call for lights out. And that call sounded like this. was to get a, his brigade bugler, a 22-year-old um, bugler by the name of Oliver Wilcox Norton, who was with the 83rd Pennsylvania Regiment. He got him uh, to come into his tent. They looked through uh, some notes that he had scribbled down. <coughs> and actually, what he did, he took an old bugle call, a call that had gone out of use before the Civil War, gave it to Norton, and they reworked that old bugle call into the 24 notes that we know today as taps. <laughs> 